My name's Caitlin. I go by KQ at camp. It's my third year at BSA. It's my second year here. This is my second year back at BSA. This is my third summer here. All right, my first time at BSA was last year. And um, it was a little nerve wracking at first, but once you got to meet everyone, it was a lot of fun. So before I came to Berkshire Soccer Academy for the first year, I was not teaching yoga in my everyday life. And I sort of quit my mundane job to come here to get away from the industry that I was involved in before. So teaching here gave me the confidence and helped me to realize that teaching yoga was important to me and something that I wanted to do. So I took the refreshed attitude I gained here back home and started getting involved in the yoga community there. I was able to find this place online. I was looking up uh, assistant coaching jobs and this camp popped up. I was like, that'd be perfect for the summer. And when I was going through it and reviewing it, I saw it was an all girls camp and mainly all girls staff. And I loved that immediately. Cause growing up, uh, girls sports, even though they're like, you know, pretty popular, there wasn't a lot of girl coaches. So I've never had a girl soccer coach before. So when I saw that they were looking for like female coaches, like, yes, I want to be part of that. I want to be part of that generation where I'm coaching other female players, younger, the younger generation. I think working here has really opened up my eyes to how important it is to get a hold of the youth players and kind of set them in the right direction. And I've seen at the college level kind of the tools that maybe players have missed in their development and really bringing those tools back to the beginning and teaching them at a young age to help the game grow and help players grow. Here at BSA, it's more of a technical camp. We're teaching the kids a lot of technical stuff, and I've worked as a, a college coach, so it's been a lot more tact tactical stuff. So to me, that really helped me because I was able to break things down. I know the progression of dribbling and passing and all that, and it's really helped me um, in my career outside of here of learning just the foundation of it and building with that. BSA has helped me in so many different ways. Really helped with my communication skills, my teamwork skills. I play rugby at home and even being part of this team here really reinforced that teamwork attitude. Part of what makes this place so unique and kind of undescribable is just that it's like its own little part in the, in the world. Like when you're here, it's like nothing kind of exists around it and you really just get to know people on an extremely deep level. And you get to grow a lot as a person, and I think that's kind of what makes this place special. It's like an oasis, uh, <laughs> a place to do what you really like and be safe doing it, to like build confidence and hopefully instill some of that into the girls that come here. I particularly enjoyed the campfires at the end um, when you all sit down together, you talk about the week, you share your memories, you share your fun moments and what you've learned and how you've grown. You all have some s'mores together and it really reinforces the camp family attitude. Like I, when I come back to BSA, it's not like coming back to a strict place of like, I don't know, it's just like a family coming back to. Um, so I've enjoyed that. <laughs> and I loved that. And I felt like I was on a team again. I felt like as a coach, we were like our own like team. So I want to be part of that again. It was like a nice like, break from the college world and other you know teams so I wanted to come back here and experience camp again and get back into like camp soccer and teaching soccer to the basics and to kids who just love the game take it all in and jump in like take risk step out of your comfort zone because that's when you, that's when you grow and that's the same thing can apply when you get out of here you know you're gonna be put in tough t situations where you don't know everything um, and you learn that from here by asking questions and working as a team and growing that way I would say have a good time and don't be nervous and if you're feeling nervous about something specific, that's probably the thing you should do to get over it or experience it. Or, you know, you grow when you feel uncomfortable. So that would be my advice. Do what makes you uncomfortable. <laughs>